We have got many inquiries from my student that is there any program that can teach Kill Sheet? Now, Kill Sheet is a very unique program which can fetch you 20% of PNP marks. Now, Kill Sheet Learning Program is a unique program that is developed by Eric World and specially designed by me. So, I want to show you some of the features of uh, Kill Sheet Learning module. So, when you sign in, to eRig World LMS platform. So you land up on the dashboard. So this is the dashboard of eRig World. Now, as you can see here, Killsheet Learning Module, English version, and Killsheet Learning Module, Hindi version. So let us check out what is there in English module. So when I click on the program, here, as you can see, this is the e-learning program for Killsheet. So these are the content of Killsheet Learning Module. Introduction. Introduction is about how to use the platform. And then we have got this section where we teach how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length. It is very important because in our Killsheet examples or Killsheet questions, uh, they don't give us a drill pipe length. So how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length is very important. So let us uh, surf on this. As you can see, there are seven modules or seven videos. When I click on this, the first video is how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length with well TVD and shoe TVD. Now there are different arrangements or different types of questions for kill sheet that comes. One kill sheet question is like they give you shoe TVD and well TVD. Second type of question is they will give you shoe TVD, but for well, they will give you well TVD and well MD. And the third type of question is where they will give you well MD and TVD and shoe MD and TVD. So we have covered all the sections. So first video will teach you how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length if well TVD and shoe TVD is given. That means a straight well. So in this case, I will learn through this video how to calculate open hole length and drill pipe length for straight well and this is the assessment part. Second video is how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length with well MD and TVD, but shoe, it is only TVD. That means till shoe, well is straight and then there is a deviation. So same way, we have got assessment for the above learning outcome. Third video is how to learn, uh, learn how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length for well MD and TVD, shoe MD and TVD, that means fully deviated well. So, and below that we have assessment. So let's check out one of the assessment. When I click on assessment or mock test, attempt now, click on attempt now. Then you have to agree to the rules and regulation by clicking on the box and then I'm ready. Now this is one of the question where you have well MD and well TVD, shoe MD and shoe TVD. And you need to calculate open hole length. Let me guess anything. Let's say one, two, three, four, and I enter question number two. Here's the same data, but uh, you have to calculate drill pipe length. Let me again write down nine, 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 enter. Question three. Likewise, you can attempt all the questions. Every time you will have new data. So if I submit, here it says that there are 10 questions I have submitted or answered two and I visited one question and I have not answered seven questions. In that case, you can go back to the assessment by clicking on this uh, block. Here, what I do is I will submit. So when I submit, as per our assessment modules or LMS module, here you have an opportunity to Check your answer. So if I want to review, I review. So I entered the wrong answer, but the right answer is this. And for explanation, you can click on explanation. If you want to learn why it is right or why the question answer is right. So click on this and then there's an explanation about how it is right. So this way we can 
learn how to calculate drill pipe length and open hole length before we start learning about kill sheet. Because in kill sheet, uh, you have to calculate first. Then calculating volume, strokes and time, it is very important that you calculate this drill pipe length because drill pipe length is not given in the questions. So this video will teach you how to calculate drill pipe length. Second, it will also guide you how to calculate open hole length because to calculate open hole volume, you need to know what is open hole length. So this is the video that will teach you drill pipe length and open hole length. Now here you can see we have got seven kill sheets. So we have discussed seven kill sheet and each kill sheet we have divided into four parts. First part is how to input data. Let me fetch one of the kill sheets. So kill sheet number one. As you can see here, uh, this is the PDF uh, of kill sheet that is a blank kill sheet you can download. So before you proceed for learning program, you have to download a blank kill sheet because you'll be using that blank kill sheet for further calculation. So click on this link and you can download the blank kill sheet. Use that blank kill sheet for further learning. So here, second thing, this is first video of kill sheet number one, which will teach you how to input data. Now you've got a kill sheet question and from the question you have to input certain data like well TVD, well MD, shoe TVD, shoe MD, mud weight, then uh, LOT pressures or LOT data and then pump data. And finally, on the second page, you have to input SIDPP, SICP to calculate Kilmud weight and ICP, FCP. So this video will teach you how to input data. Second video will guide you how to calculate mass. Now, we have got different varieties of question where they give you different data for LOT pressures. Sometimes they give you LOT pressure and test mud weight so that you can calculate by using formula, you can calculate uh, maximum allowable mud weight. Sometimes they give you maximum allowable mud weight directly. So no need to calculate maximum allowable mud weight. Third way is they will give you pressure gradient or formation fracture gradient. So in this video, we will teach how to calculate maximum allowable mud weight by using different methods. And then finally, by use of maximum allowable mud weight, you can calculate mass. So third video, is very important video because in this video, it will teach you how to calculate different volumes. So first is gel string volume, then open hole volume, then casing volume. And when you combine open hole volume and casing volume, you will get total annulus volume. And finally, when you add all the volumes, you will get well volume. So using volume data, you can calculate strokes and time. So likewise, if I want to play the first, first video, click on the first video. In this section, the video is for eight minutes, 25 seconds. We'll guide you how to input data. Now let us come back to video number four. So in four number video, that is the second page of kill sheet, that will teach you how to calculate kill mud weight, ICP, FCP and reduction per 100 strokes. And finally, when you learn all the things, then you have a questionnaire. So here is the quiz. So online quiz for quiz sheet number one. So you have to input the data. So I click on the quiz. Here a new window will pop up. You have to select on attempt now. Now there are certain rules and regulation for the mock test or for the quiz. You have to agree, so click on this checkbox, and then I'm ready. As you can see, this is the data. And the question is, how many strokes are required to pump Kilmud from surface to bed? So that is gelsting stroke. So let me give the answer. So I give this answer. When I select number two, so the question will be number two question. Kilmud density, so let me say, it is 16 ppg. Number three. So this is how I can attempt all the questions 
and once all the questions are done then you have to submit so let me submit now submit exercise so as you can see here the total number of question is 10 i answered two i visited one more question but i didn't answer and there is as you can see there are seven questions which is not visited so you can review it will this window will guide you that uh, if at all any question is left to answer then you can go back to the quiz and give your right answer till now i'm submitting because i have to show you how it work so here you can see this is the result of quiz and if i wish to review all the questions so click on review button so review question as you can see this is the data and this is the question question says that how many strokes are required to pump kilmet from surface to width as i answered this option so this is the right answer now if i'm not sure that why it is right so there's an explanation for every question so show explanation click on this button a link will pop up you have to click on the link and you can see the right answer will get displayed and this will give you what is the correct right answer and why it is right so likewise you can attempt all the quizzes you can learn all the types of kill sheet here we have got seven kill sheet so different seven datas are there so guys i encourage everyone that you should go through this skill sheet learning module which has got seven kill sheets and prepare yourself to secure 20% of your pnp marks because in iwcf and iidc you have got different questions and you have to answer it right to, in order to pass the exam so this is the first building block of your career if you are willing to or if you are aspiring to become an ad or above you have to give well control exam and for that exam kill sheet is the first module that you should learn so on our e required platform we have got this posted this program is posted you can buy from there and start learning so good luck guys uh, i'll wait on the other side see you then good luck